New students don't get lost anymore in the corridors of this secondary school in London. Not since the school came up with their hot management idea. Meet Catherine Cumberbatch from Chestnut Grove School, South West London. Her piece of hot management was to create a website to give new students a feel for the school. The main aim of the website is to allow students to have an opportunity to see what secondary school life is going to be like before arriving here and also to complete some work which will help bridge the attainment gap between Year 6 and Year 7. Chestnut Grove is an 11 to 19 visual arts college with an annual intake of around 160 new pupils from 50 feeder primary schools. Although the school had tried various approaches in the past, they still felt transition could be improved. So how did they come up with the website idea and how did they put it into action? I was at a two-year Key Stage 3 meeting and this was mentioned as an idea of enhanced transition and a light bulb just sort of sparked in my head and I thought that would be brilliant. We don't have an in-house web designer, so we decided to go external. But at all stages, we wanted students involved. So before the web designers had even come into school, we actually asked Year 7 students what they would like to see on the site if they were coming as new students in Year 6. I help give a clear view to the people actually making the website so that um, they will know what Year 6s would want. Not just like about the school curriculum, but what the school generally is about. I had the idea of like, getting the students to talk about the facilities at the school to like, give the new students a welcoming feeling. Hi, my name is Mohammed. I'm in year nine and I attend Chestnut Road. The teaching is very good and I've enjoyed the past three years here. The website is not only a prospectus, it's also a way of giving the pupils some work to do over the summer. We have a maths game, which looks like Space Invaders, but there is actually a mathematical element to it. They get so far, and then some sums pop up, which get harder and harder. I really like the maths game, because I'm good at maths. And in the English was helpful, because I'm not very good at English. And there's also a data questionnaire sent directly to their maths teacher, who collates it, and that's used in the first scheme of work when they come in September, so it's actually part of their lesson. We launched the site in June 2004. Um, the immediate benefits we noticed were students were coming in in Year 7 with folders full of work, desperate to give them to their teachers. So, the new students don't get lost and the website can be constantly updated to include anything on the curriculum. The cost was £3,500 for the site, um, but that also included training so that we can actually put on photos and update text as we need to. We've run summer schools very successfully in the past. Usually they cost around double what the website would cost, but they only actually go out to 30 or 40 students. And although this is very good for that group of students, it doesn't reach all the students, which is what we feel the virtual induction website does. I think the interactivity is one of the best bits about the website because it gives the new students a chance to like, see the facilities. It's a really nice way for Year 6 students to get a feel for their secondary school and hopefully to alleviate some of their worries before they come. Mm -hmm.